Hello viewers. Welcome to the 5 AM networking. I am Ram. Today we'll be talking about how to create a perfect wireless network BOQ or how to provide a BOQ for your customers wireless network requirement. When considering a wireless network requirement, you need to understand a lot of factors are into this. If your customer has a consultant and if the consultant does the site survey, creates the heat map, then gets back to your customer and then concludes the number of access points required, that's a different story because you can just con you can just proceed with building the BOQ. If not, you need to understand the site first. You need to understand what type of wall is it, how many floors is this building. Uh, if you need to do a POC or not, that you need to decide if you need to do a POC or not. You need to understand the furniture layout. These multiple factors uh, really uh, affect the coverage area. Of course, the location of access point is very important. Most of the customers, especially in hospitality sector, prefer to hide the access points. That's perfectly okay until the access point is not hidden behind a metal enclosure or a thick wall. Uh, I, uh, there are a few sites who prefer to have the access point above the cupboard. So in this case, you have a blind spot where you will lose the signal first of all when the access point is above the cupboard. Then comes the cupboard itself. So the location of access point should be determined. Then please understand the site before you proceed with the heat maps. The heat maps are created after you receive the latest drawing from your customer and after making the exact measurements as per the site. Once the heat maps are created, once the walls are drawn, once the coverage area is understood, then you can conclude the number of access points. Based on the number of access points, you have multiple options when it comes to Aruba Networks. If the number of access points is less than 128, you can go ahead with an instant based solution. An instant solution is a solution where you can just propose the access points. You don't need to add any licenses, any subscriptions, nothing else, just the access points and the mounting brackets. That's all you need. All the access points are connected to the switch in the same VLAN and then they form a cluster. They have the same capabilities as a controller-based solution, except the only downside is it cannot be more than 128 access points and all the 128 access points in the cluster can support not more than 1,500 users. So if this is okay, you can proceed with just instant-based solution. It's perfectly fine. If the number of access points are more than 128, then a controller-based solution is recommended. With a controller-based solution, you have again multiple options where if your customer doesn't have a budget to invest more than two controllers, you can go ahead with standalone and standby architecture. If your customer is okay for a detailed network infrastructure where multiple sites can be handled or they are connected with MPLS, then you can propose a solution where a mobility master or a virtual mobility master will take care of the configurations and the licenses and the other parts when it comes to handling other controllers where the access points will be terminating. So this is called as clustering. So in a cluster you can have multiple controllers in a particular site where inside the cluster the access points will be terminating on the mobility controllers or MCs. You can have multiple clusters managed by the Mobility Master. We will talk in detail about the solution later on. You can also propose a cloud-based solution. When it comes to instant-based solution, which manages 128 access points, the same solution can be onboarded to Aruba Central or a cloud-based solution. The cloud-based solution needs subscription where a customer can handle multiple sites from the Aruba Central Cloud. When it comes to a cloud-based solution, the most of the customers they are looking forward for cloud-based solution are those customers who have lot of franchises or who have lot of 
branch offices rather than each and every branch office would require an IT engineer an engineer from the head office can manage all these sites from the cloud-based solution or Aruba Central. In Aruba Central a subscription AP foundation subscription is added and then all the APs not just access points you can also onboard switches you can also uh, onboard controllers and they can be managed from Aruba Central for any number of sites. The last option is a remote access point where uh, you can provide a provisioned access point or a remote access point to a branch office or a site or a remote site where that access point is just connected to the network and that access point establishes an IPsec connectivity to the main office and then you can connect downlink any switch for further communications or further service requirements or the access point itself will broadcast the same network as your head office that's remote access point solution a controller based network a cloud based network needs licenses or subscription when it comes to a controller based network you have to probe your customer to understand if the link should be 1G or 10G which is connecting to the uplink of course please check the power budget of the switch where the access point is connecting to if the power budget of the switch as an example a 48 port switch can be 340 watts in this case we cannot suggest to connect 30 access point to that particular switch in this case you have to provide another switch when it comes to any project it's not just selling the project completing the configuration and then moving on it's about how seamless the the support is or how seamless we can see those product to work uh, uh, without any issues in the forthcoming years so a support contract is very much required for any project so again your customer needs to decide if it is going to be for three years or one year as per your customers requirement so with all this information we will be talking about a company's project I have defined uh, a company like uh, 5 a.m. networking company where we'll be talking about uh, four different types of requirement just to explain you in a better way and we'll be talking about two requirements in this video then we will go ahead with other two requirements in our next video so let us go through the requirement the entire network should be 10G it should have a UK power supply three year support contract uh, then you need licenses for three years perpetual is preferred SFPs are required uh, for whatever products and then they have told us already that there are two IDFs where the access points will be terminating to and there is one 2930F 48 port switch on each IDF out of which 12 ports are utilized uh, and then you need to provide 20% spares so it's a very simple requirement uh, the first requirement is 50 access points ceiling mount needs a cost-effective solution and they need also to outdoor access points let us straight away open our iris software a description for iris software is given in the same video please check out so once you open the iris software you will be seeing that there is an update so if you want to download of course it is recommended to download you will get the all latest updates from the company directly to the software so please request your point of contact for the company to provide you access to this software if you are a partner I think the access will be provided I'm not sure of but most probably yes it would be provided okay so let's go ahead add the access points they need a x ceiling mount access point so a x ceiling mount so access point added we'll add the mounting kit and we will define the quantity it's 50 access points with 20% spares so 20% spares of 50 is 60 so 10 access points is added more and it's added and then they need two outdoor access points let's go to outdoor 
575 adding the mounting kit two access points 20 percent three normally 20 percent will not be required but unless until a special case where the customer would use the other access points in the coverage holes if he is not sure about the heat maps so 5% spare is practical 20 is not practical I'm just giving as an example because this is my company guys <laughs> I give the requirement okay so yeah so it's given so 60 and 3 is added that's it it's an instant based solution access point is less than 128 and this is your BOQ it's as simple as it is done requirements are fulfilled Add support when it comes to instant base architecture that's because you do not have support on software for these solutions so you have to have a solution you have to have a support on the device itself so three years support as the customers requirement and that's done so that's okay it's, it gives an essay there's no price list added uh, because I don't want to show the price so if you add a price list I'm sure the price would be shown here so it's as simple as it is you can export so I can consider this as requirement one okay requirement one is done you have received your BOQ so the access point mounting kit with the support just a few clicks right so we have completed the first requirement so as simple as it is so now the second requirement is that the same but the solution should be able to manage multiple sites from a central location and requires a centrally managed solution okay so for the second requirement we are just clicking on the access point again go to related products and click on central that's it so it's central cloud and you have the access point foundation license access point foundation license for 50 plus 2 which is 52 others are spares okay so add it okay so let's talk about advanced licenses advanced licenses are having all the capabilities of foundation license but additional features like you can use air slice I'm just giving an, a few examples like you can use air slice which can prioritize applications and you can uh, reach TAC uh, when it comes to artificial intelligence. Uh, we have a lot of, lot of artificial intelligence, like AI search, AI um, insights. So these modules have a capability to reach uh, our TAC backend uh, and then they can respond to any issues or they can take the logs as per the requirement or if any issue is seen you can report to the tag directly so there are a few features when it comes to advanced licenses uh, than the foundation licenses okay but uh, foundation licenses is enough if you want to onboard the devices to the cloud so that's uh, done so let's check on support again we need support for three years it's selected and that's it your requirement 2 is over let's just export this let's call this as requirement 2 okay that's it requirement 2 is done the same BOQ along with 52 subscriptions for access points okay okay there's an issue I have added for one year but let's make it for three years so here you go and make it for three years and that's it so okay three years done let's export requirement to want to replace yes replaced three years subscription okay so we spoke about requirement uh, one and two in this particular video we'll cut this video short and we will come back to you in requirement three and four where we'll be discussing about a controller based solution 
okay thank you for tuning in and we'll get back to you with part two of perfect wireless boq daruba networks thank you for watching this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe for further updates thank you happy networking